In this video, I will share my thoughts on Tesla stock and explain what Tesla needs to do to finally regain bullish sentiment and reach $300 again, our next key resistance level. So let's see what to expect next. Welcome to the Finance Hydro channel. My name is Nathan. Here on Tesla's daily chart, we see that we are stabilizing above a support area, a very important support level, by the way. And this is good news. I have good news and I have bad news. Or better saying, I have bullish news and I have bearish news, right? On the bullish side, yes, we are reacting above a support level made by this purple trend line over here, which is connecting the previous bottom levels on Tesla since April this year and uh, the $240 support level, $240, this black line over here, which we have been talking about a lot here on this channel. And uh, right now, finally, we see Tesla stabilizing above this support level. Okay, we are stabilizing above a support level. Will Tesla finally reverse from here? Maybe there is a there is a chance, right? What's the problem? Because there is always a problem. In this case, a few problems. Problem number one, Tesla is still under the 21 EMA, the exponential moving average on the daily chart. By trading below this 21 EMA, Tesla is still in bearish territory. We are not clearly bullish right now at this moment. Problem number two, the indices. The indices are very bearish. They are incredibly bearish. Uh, SPY did trigger a bearish pivot point. It did a lower high, lower low on the daily chart, losing the, losing the 21 EMA and we lost the $431 support level, and uh, we close it our gap at $422.92. What an amazing precision, by the way, right? We hit this support level, we, we close it, this gap, and right now, apparently, we are bouncing, right? What a coincidence. This is a very amazing reaction, price action-wise. Okay, gap, close it, we are trying to react, however, SPY is still bearish. We are still in a bearish momentum. The trend is still bearish on the daily chart because we just triggered a bearish pivot point. We just made a lower high, lower low, and we are still below the 21 EMA. What it takes for SPY to reverse the bearish sentiment on the daily chart? Well, we gotta break the, we gotta break this moving average. In addition to that, we gotta make a crystal clear higher high, higher low. That's a trade of a bull trend. This is what bull trends are made of. Higher highs, higher lows. Do we see higher highs, higher lows right now? No. So, SPY is still not bullish. QQQ triggered a bearish, a bearish pivot point as well. We hit a very important support level over here, right? However, we are bearish okay we are below the 21 ma we did a bearish pivot point we lost this ascending channels support level clearly losing momentum so qqq is is also not on its best shape right now so the situation is very complicated now what this has to do with tesla because tesla is clearly more resilient than the indices because well tesla was in a bull trend higher highs higher lows However, it kind of crashed over here, right? We are not making lower highs, lower lows yet, okay? Tesla is still not necessarily bearish, but uh, it is not incredibly bullish right now as well. So it feels like that right now, in order for Tesla to, re to regain bullish momentum, because it is not, again, it is not bearish because we don't see clear lower highs, lower lows on Tesla yet. And this is a very good point for the bulls here, right? Tesla is not uh, insanely bearish as the indices are right now. So again, uh, but uh, however, what it takes for Tesla to reverse this, uh, to resume the bullish sentiment? Well, just like the indices, we gotta see Tesla breaking the 21 EMA on the daily chart, making higher highs, higher lows, right? In this scenario, if 
if tesla breaks if tesla and the indices if they break their 21 ma and if they trigger bullish pivot points if they start making higher highs higher lows over here on the daily chart i don't only believe that tesla could easily easily retest the 300 dollars again but i believe tesla is going to break the 300 dollars again because right now that tesla has reached its support level right now that the indices are around their support levels as well right now would be a very very good moment to see they start triggering bullish pivot points on the daily chart right right now is the best time ever especially because we corrected so sharply since our previous top level right tesla dropped it from 280 dollars to 240 over here it feels like to me at least again in my humble opinion right to me as a retail trader like everybody else over here to me this is an overreaction uh spy to me, this is also an overreaction. To me, it feels like it is oversold right now. Again, my humble opinion as a retail trader. Now, is Tesla a good buy right now? Maybe if you do want to keep in touch with my buy and sell signals on Tesla, SPY, QQQ, NVIDIA and many other stocks, join our Telegram channel. The QR code is right here on the left corner of your screen. Uh, the link is in the fixed comment as well. So just join us over there because because we have been outperforming Tesla for a while right now and uh, we can beat Tesla's performance through our own active trading management style, through our own trading approach. So come on, just join us over there. The link to my Telegram channel is right here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is a very good reaction. We still have a few resistances to break. We still have to do a few uh, important chart structures to finally reverse uh, this short-term bearish sentiment and uh, resume the bullish sentiment on the daily chart. But uh, if you ask me, I think Tesla looks quite promising right now. I'm going to keep you guys updated every single day on this. So if you're still watching this video and you're not my subscriber, come on, consider subscribing this channel. Click the like button to support me as well. This is very important. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. See you guys tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye.